were kids in the 70s, all of us had, I'd say all of us, had an AM radio that would sit on the, the bed stand next to our bed. Yep. It was a clock radio to wake us up in the morning or whatever. I, I don't know about you, but I listened to music all night long. I had it on all night me long. Me too. Now, there were certain songs that would come on that would frighten me. And they would give me the creepiest, weirdest, like, I don't even know how to describe what I was feeling, but something creepy and weird. I don't know if you'll relate to this or not at all, but this is one of the ones. It was almost like I wanted to I wanted to reach over and, tr- and turn the radio off, but I was too, too frightened. to move. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is one of them. <laughs> I'm dying to hear what it is. I know you know the song. Really? Yeah, this... Can you think of what the part of the song that used to freak me out? Big boys don't cry. Yep. Be quiet, big boys don't cry. Yep. It used to totally freak me out. You know what's funny? Is this has become one of my all-time favorite songs it in is. the entire freaking world. It is. This is a top 20 song for me. It is for it me, is too. It is such a brilliant piece of music. And anybody that's a fan, a serious fan of music has knows about the work that went into creating this it's piece amazing. of music. It's amazing. I mean, it truly, the lyric alone is just, it's so incredible. You can say about this song what you can't say about a lot of music. This song is a work of art. It, oh, absolutely. It stops me in my tracks every time I hear it. Me too. Like right now, I just want to listen to it and shut up. Yeah, shut up. Although when I was a kid, I thought he was saying, I'm not enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. not enough. That's a classic example of the misreading of, I have some I'm good not ones. Enough. Enough. I'm not enough. But then again. Amazing. The lyrics the, are so cool. It is, and it's, it's the tone of the lyrics perfectly match the music yep it's so melancholy and it's a sense of loss and his his inability to admit that he's desperately in love with this I was just going to say the exact same sentence yes. inability yeah the best line in the song is that uh, I, no okay now wait Imagine Sorry. you're yeah. laying in bed yeah. in the darkness and you're, you know, a kid less than 10 years old and this comes on and you're like, what's going on? <laughs> kind of mystical chimes playing. Yeah. And then when this voice comes in, it's just like, you know, this hot, hot chick, I guess she may have been some hideous secretary. Of- I doubt it. And she's British. Oh, baby. <laughs> I think we all have a picture in our mind of what she looked like. Oh, she looked. She has hair just like Farrah Fawcett. Yeah. Incredible. This piece of music is. is just astounding. This is the this best part. Right yes. Here. Right here. That's just like so human. <laughs> it is. It's such a lie. Don't ask me to give it back. I know you know it doesn't mean that much to me. That's it means just, everything to me. Totally. And it just keeps going and yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. And this whole part. Ugh. Yeah, this song does not belong on this show. No, but this we'll just do a whole... I'll just make this a separate segment. This is truly just the best of the best. It is. You know, when the band heard this song, they didn't really love it too much. And then they found that they're all walking around humming it. And they said, 
Maybe we should record it. Well, I don't know if you, you've you seen the video of how they yeah. put it together. Yeah. It started out as like this reggae feeling thing. It was like this really kind of... Really yeah, interesting. It, it wasn't like this at all. If you look up the word dreamy... This part. That is so cool. If you look up the word dreamy in the dictionary, this song's in there. <laughs> it's very dreamy. It's very rare that... The songs that that stand the test of time, and like literally, people will be rediscovering probably centuries from now. I won't be surprised. Are songs like this that are touch on humanity in such a rich and profound way that people uh, you could easily imagine people centuries from now. Well, yeah, and it's such a, a high level artistic expression, you know, in the lyrics and in the in the audio, it's just it's like this song was a big hit because of Guardians of the Galaxy. You have all these teenagers who watch this movie, yeah, are told here's a pretty cool song so that yeah. they have a predisposition to like it and they hear it and they go, This is a cool song. Yes. I don't care what year it was made. Yes. Totally. Do, do your kids dig this song? They oh yeah. Yeah. Probably not as much as I do, but Yeah. Boy, that that I agree with you. That's in the top twenty. This for one sure. makes my nipples hard. 